good afternoon dear student today we will start the practical of the uh, informatics that is the first practical of this uh, uh, this semester let's see one by one the what is meant by stereoscopy first we see the some of the introductory parts of that particular uh, stereoscopy means for the uh, first we see the uh, definition of uh, stereoscopy what is meant by stereoscope which type of stereoscope is used for viewing aerial photographs first we see the basics of stereoscopy the use of binocular vision to achieve three dimensional effect. in that we can see the three dimensional effect of that particular image it means uh, that is the aerial photography it enables you to view an object from two different camera position to obtain a three dimensional view. with the help of two camera position we can obtain the three dimensional view for that we use the stereosphere uh, that is the stereosphere of photograph to adjust an overlapping photograph in the same flight line uh, stereo views can only be seen in the overlapping portion of the photo uh, what is the flight line and uh, on what uh, for uh, that is the overlapping of particular photographs we have seen uh, in the di di diagram of that particular uh, photograph okay then next next that is the the picture which is used here uh, here you can see the picture of that particular that is the simple uh, stereos photograph uh, this is the photo one this is the photo two. photo two okay the picture used in this stereo views were in the form of stereograph which were two picture of the same scene that were slightly offset and mounted side by side here you can see this is the simple stereo stereo uh, stereograph that is this is the picture one so you can see so you can see clearly see the that is the uh, picture of one that is the, this is the two picture adjacent picture that can be mounted side by side that is the uh, stereoscope next okay that is the what is the stereoscopy you uh, i already told you the use of binocular vision to achieve the three dimension effect okay enables you to view an object from two different camera position to obtain the three dimensional view for that we can use the stereosphere of photograph okay this is the photo this is the photo two. you can see this is the you know, your uh, single stereosphere so this is the eyes with the help of this is the two adjacent photo overlap each other and we get the one image that is you can see two adjacent overlapping photograph in the same flight line this is the flight line this is photo one this is photo two photo two we can obtain the three dimensional uh, view okay Stereo views can only be seen in the overlapping portion of the photo. When and this photo one and photo two can, after overlapping, you can see the three dimensional effect. The that is the use of that particular stereosphere. This is uh, the uh, ideal diagram for that uh, understanding the process of stereoscopy. Okay. Then I have already told you the what is meant by stereoscope. From this, we can obtain the three dimensional model. Then. What is the stereoscopic fusion? The stereoscopic fusion is the fusion of two separate images of an object in the brain together with the special impression is called stereoscopic fusion. I have already told you that there is a two separate image with the help of this you can see the 3D three dimensional model of that photograph. Mostly the here we can use the aerial photographs for that uh, seeing the particular area. There are types of stereoscope. It is the lens stereoscope. It is the simple pocket stereoscope. You can see then mirror stereoscope, scanning stereoscope, scope, and zoom stereoscope. Okay, let's see the one by one the image and the working principle of that particular uh, for stereoscope. Okay, then this is the stereoscope. That is the this is the simple. It is a binocular. That is the, you can see there is a two binocular optical instrument that help us to. Properly oriented photos of to obtain a three three D model that is the three dimensional views. Okay, this is the simple. You can see here it is the position of that particular stereosphere. Beside uh, under the, uh, under this you can see the photo here and ob by observing this you can see the three D model. Okay, this is the simple stereoscope. Uh, you can remember that is the it is also known as lens for. Pocket stereos probably that is the simplest, least expensive, very small two by four of magnification used in the field. You can easily operate it in the field. Okay, 
the next that is the mirror stereoscope okay the, this is the image of mirror stereoscope you can see the photos can be placed separate by week using the field okay consist of four mirror okay makes an angle of 45 degree with the plane of photo two larger wing mirror this is the two larger and two eyepiece mirror okay this is the uh, two eyepiece and this is the two wing mirror having making an angle of 45 degree with the plane of photo okay. this is the simplest working principle of mirror stereoscope okay. let's see the diagram of this it is the this is the two wing mirror and this is the eyepiece you can see this is the photo one photo three by using this uh, you can see the uh, aerial photos of in the three dimensional because this is the uh, next version of uh, stereo that is the mirror stereoscope okay then scanning mirror stereoscope okay here you can, you can see the series of lenses and prism in the in, in this particular portion there is a series of lenses and uh, prism relatively expensive not used in the field this is not used in the field here again you can see the two aerial photographs having overlap each other and this is the ideal front line okay this particular this is the ideal front line from that you can easily see the uh, images below that that is the this is known as scanning mirror stereoscope that is the series of lenses and prism you can see okay this is not using field as compared to the mirror stereoscope and single pocket stereoscope these both use in field this scanning mirror stereoscope it is not used in field okay. the next zoom stereoscope that is variable magnification 2.5 to 20x very expensive not using field this is the uh, figure of that particular it is very expensive here is the eye piece you can see here is another tuning over after over again we can obtain a three dimensional view then zoom transfer stereoscope okay having variable magnification that is 2.5 to up to 20x very expensive not using field used to transfer features from a stereo sphere of photo on a map of the other photo okay. you can see this there is four four uh, this four yeah, one. this is the eyepiece one two and this is the four this is the four bulb you see here this is the pattern in that particular here it is the uh, place of that particular uh, images used to transfer features from a stereo sphere of photo onto a map or other photo it is the huge okay so it is very expensive not using field okay having magnification 2.5 to uh, 20x this is the zoom transfer stereoscope okay. how it is work means uh, geometry behind this that is the uh, how the two uh, aerial photographs is uh, place and what is flight line you can see but 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 first we take the two photographs collectively and make a front flight line here okay flight line this, this, is, this is a flight line locate and mark the principal point on each photo this is the principal point that is the uh, we can see it is the midpoint of that particular photo okay locate and mark the conjugate principal point on each photograph this is the principal point and this is the conjugate principal line of all the four points you can join this and adjust the distance between photograph suit for our needs okay this first we have take the two photographs here it is the principal point and this is the conjugate, conjugate principal point on each photograph okay then after side by side you can side over here and this is the, your flight line okay then the orienting of stereoscope how it orient take a adjacent overlapping photo and align them of such a that the flight line are orient along the left side of the photo okay this is the photo one this is the photo two. Photo two. Take take this advent overlapping photo adjacent. This is the adjacent photo and overlap it. In this case, the higher photo of is to the left and lower photo of to the right. This higher photo towards left and lower photo is like this. After overlapping this, this part this is the adjacent photo of overlap. This that is the left side. This is the uh, lower side. It is in this case the higher photo is to the left. Door to the right. Okay. Then next. 
orienting a stair step look at the principal point okay uh, in that uh, first image we have a photo this is the blank page on that particular look at the principal point. i have already told you the middle point of that particular uh, image okay look at the principal point that is pp the optical center or not that is the cpp on each photo by drawing the line between the coronal critical mark that is example ul lr url depending upon um, what are the names okay then look at the contour principal point that is the cpp with the pp to add some photo this is the add some photo this is cpp and this after this um, drawing draw the line between the pp and cpp you can see pp and cpp this is the flight line okay this is exactly known as your flight line align the photo so that all the four four point lie on the straight line after that take this photo towards this and this four point that is pp cpp cpp and pp in a same continuous line this is the our arrangement for orienting a stereosphere then and then then and uh, then and then we can see you can see the uh, exact uh, image of that uh, particular photo in the three dimensional view okay the next Uh, ground control point that is the GCB. It is a feature that you can clearly identify in the raw image for which you have to know ground ordinance. In this case, you have to know ground ordinance and you have to know the uh, coordinates of that particular image. Ground coordinates can come from variety of sources such as GPS. You know very well the GPS, in ground survey, geocode images, vectors, geographic information system, topographic map, extend the number of GPS in your images. From that ground coordinates can be seen with the help of GPS and GIS. The ground control point determines the relationship between the raw image and the ground by associating the pixel and line image coordinates to the x, y, and z coordinates. Here is the one image you can clearly see. That is the image. That is the image coordination p in pixel and line. That is the and ground. That is g, c, the ground coordinate x, y, z. Okay. This is. All about uh, practical of that uh, particular stereoscopy. You you have to know what is in the stereoscopy and of the with the help of stereoscopy what we have seen. Here one can is uh, remember in this particular photo. Here you can see this is the aerial photograph. In that photograph you can see the geomorphic features of that particular area. What geomorphic over the wind. Or glacier, whatever it may be, geomorphic agent may change, but you can see after observing, so you can write the geomorphic features of that image. The image that is the uh, whole image is one. Okay, this is the uh, best use for uh, stereoscope to see the image. Okay, so you here it is the four types. That is the uh, simple stereoscope, the mirror stereoscope, then. Scanning stereoscope and zoom stereoscope. That is the uh, that is use of the stereoscope to find the image in three-dimensional mode. This is the best uh, use for that. It is easy to handle and it is easy to see. Okay. This lens and microscope are used in film and scanning and zoom stereoscope is not used. Okay. 